guys. Yep, we're in the Volvizi. That's right, Lawrence. On this road. I don't know, it's 162, I think it's called. So we'll go down 162. It's really that bad, Vince, the pricing? Seriously? Yeah, that is a big, tall sight, man. 300 feet, you say, huh? Go ahead and run some tests. I think I'll drive down for a couple of miles and then we'll hit a couple. Of, we'll try to do the other sectors too. <laughs> hey, Antonius, what's going on, man? All right, so we're in the sixes. Downlink and uplink are really good. If it's a one gig fiber circuit, I'd, I'd say this is pretty efficient. Again, I'm I'm most I'm most impressed by the latencies. Erickson seems to be the winner for that. Six thirty six down, seventy one up. Wow, those loaded latencies are super impressive. All right, we're uh, driving away from the tower site. We're about a mile away. Throughput so far seems pretty good. We haven't really lost much. Remember, we're kind of in between sectors a little bit on this side, so pretty good performance. All right, 635 on the down. Looks like we're in the 30s on the up. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff, man. I think this is going to be a win for AT&T. I think not that the Nokia stuff was really bad. I mean, I, I thought the, the Nokia stuff was decent. I didn't think it was bad, but this appears to be better for AT&T. And then I think for cost, being ORAN and those types of things, I, I think just the scalability, the flexibility, it was just a slam dunk for them, and they felt they had to do it. All right, I'd say we're approaching about two miles away from the site. We're still in the 500s for the downlink. We're in the 30s for the uplink. Remember, these, these sites out here in rural America, I mean, this is it, guys. This is what I've been looking at for, like, the last 40 miles. Still connected. Looks good. 5G+. plus. 508 down and 39 on the up. Latencies are wonderful in the 200s for loaded latencies. Looks like we're at about three miles now. Still connected, although the signal is a little weak. I'm looking to see if there's another cell anywhere near. You know, never know. You could be handing off to a different cell. All right, now I think we're in line of sight of the cell. So that's why you see the improved uh, throughput because, you know, the antenna is now directional. It, it helps. Um, that's pretty good. 535 down, 31 up. Latencies did come up a little bit. And this is going to be good for AT&T. I think we have a winner. I think it was smart and wise for them to kind of to kind of go this route. The only thing is, is you know, you get these sites torn down. you got to get the stuff replaced. You know, I think it could create some trouble for some folks as they make the conversions happen. You know, you got to take down sites and things like that. Why would you work with groups to stop? I don't know. <laughs> Snead would speedify help you band networks together to get a 1080p on the go. I mean, this is this. I have no idea why YouTube doesn't let this do. I mean, I'm doing this through the YouTube app. I'm not doing it through a secondary app. So should be. I don't know. Maybe maybe they don't do 1080p native through the YouTube app. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, I don't know. I'm not convinced we're on the same cell site anymore. Uh, we're like several miles away from the site we may have moved to another cell maybe i don't know 
Uh, definitely a degraded performance, though, if you're looking at uplink. And then the latencies are different now. So I haven't seen any cells, though. I'm looking off in the distance. I see one. It looks to be a few miles away, though. So it's quite possible we actually moved over. Frank, uh, Sunday stream? Uh, I don't know, man. Um, <laughs> it's hard to find the time to do all the streams that I, I, I used to have more time. You know what I mean? And now it's hard to come by. You know, the family's gotten bigger. The family's gotten busier. You know, that sort of thing. So it's harder. You know, you got to make time for them. All right, guys, I think we're off the cell. And now we're on low band. I don't know if it's N2 or if it's uh, N5, actually. So I can't. How long is the trip today in miles and hours? So in miles, it was like 45 or 50 miles. It took me about 50, 55 minutes to get here. Speed limit was about 70. I was going like 70, 75. From one working father to another, I get it. Yeah, man. Yeah, you do your best, bro. All right, I can see the cell site. I don't know if you guys can. Way in the back. Way in the back, way in the back, way in the back. I can, I can see it up. Man, that is a huge cell, man. Wow. That's the nice thing about rural America, man. These sites boom. See, like, in the suburbs and in the city, you don't really need the reach, right? Your cell sites are every mile or two, right? These cell sites are, oh, man, probably five or more, depending on the area. Six are down. Yeah, she's the boss. <laughs> That's very right. Happy wife, happy life, man. You know how it goes. Unhappy wife, miserable life sucking abyss. <laughs> hey, that's not my quote, man. Uh, that's a, hey, yeah. <laughs> ain't trying to get in the doghouse, man. Yeah. It's a beautiful day out, though. Uh, about 80 degrees here in Ohio. Sunny, partly cloudy skies, nothing crazy. It looks really nice. Man, look at that cell site. It's back there. It's a boomer. Should be the new can you hear me now guy for Verizon instead of phone calls you do speed test. <laughs> I mean I'll do it for any of them as long as they cut me a check, man. I ain't doing it for free, dog. Guys, this is all I see right here. By the way, performance is stellar. You just see like random homes like this. Nice. New builds. You do see some smaller, smaller homes. You see barns. Uh I'm in uh, I'm in rural Ohio. It's, it's wooded and it's farms. Who sent me on this wild goose chase? He said, "You got to do it, Sneed. It's for the nation. It's for the people. Got to come through, man." <laughs> Six thirty-seven, no twenty up. 